as you know, I just finished building this NAS for my Open Media Vault 6 server. It is fantastic. I love it. However, I don't really particularly like dashboards that are web-based. So today I'm going to be talking about my top three favorite command line interface utilities you can use to monitor your desktops that run Linux, mostly Debian, and your servers. So let's talk about it. I'm going to save the best one for last, but I think you guys are going to love it because it's not really ever talked about, and I don't really see it talked about either. So it is awesome. It's very colorful. It's fun to look at, and it is so easy to use and install. So let's get started right now. There goes glances. Growing up with Windows all my life, where everything's clicky and GUI and everything, there's all the interfaces for everything, I was used to seeing stuff like this. As the years went on and I started using Linux more and more, I grew very fond of using command line interface because it's distraction free, it's dark for the most part, you can obviously change colors depending on what tool you use to view SSH and terminal in general, but the Open Media Vault web UI does not have a dark mode. Also, there are still a couple bugs in version 6. You can see here that it does show that my memory is almost 100% used, which isn't true. I think in the near future they might add a dark mode, but who's to say they will? I don't know. So today I'm going to go over my top three favorite command line interface utilities to use to monitor my servers and my desktop. So let's get started with number one, and that being HTOP. Let's go ahead and jump on our favorite SSH tool. Mine just so happens to be SolarWinds, Solar Putty, and this one is free. You can put all of your SSH connections on one little dashboard, and I don't think they have a dark mode, unfortunately, but that's okay because you can just click on it like this and enter in. So HTOP is the first one I want to talk about. Pretty simple. Just apt install HTOP and it will run the installation and you're done. And you can just type in HTOP to access this utility here. Back in the day when I first started using Linux, HTOP was my go-to monitoring tool. As I learned more about Linux and I started playing with Docker, I had to find other tools that would allow me to monitor other things like Docker containers and the likes. But HTOP is definitely a great tool because it is minimal. It shows you at a glance what you're looking at here. You can see your memory up top left, you can see your CPU in the top right, and you can see your process tree below that. To access the menu, just hit F6 on your keyboard, and I like to go to and sort my process tree by memory percentage so I can see what's hogging up all the memory if I have a memory issue. Right now it's telling me that MB is using the most memory on this server. Speaking of MB, it does run in Docker and that's one of the negatives, I guess you can say the cons about HTOP is I can't monitor my Docker containers with it. There might be a plugin out there that allows you to do that and there may be some things I can install to get that to work with HTOP. There's definitely other tools that actually, in my opinion, look better than this. So let's go ahead to my next one, which is Glances. Let's take a look at Glances. To get Glances installed on your system might require a little bit extra stuff, but it's not really that difficult. You're gonna need Python 3 and pip. So you'll install Python by doing apt install Python 3 and make sure you spell it right, otherwise it won't work. Then you'll run the install. Since I already have it installed, it tells me that I don't need it. And then we'll go ahead and install pip by doing apt install python 3-pip. I already have that on my system as well, so it tells me, look, you already have it, nothing was installed. Now to install glances, we're going to just type in pip 3 install glances. And there it is, already satisfied. I already have glances on the system but that's what you'll have to run to install it. Then just simply run the command glances. You notice anything different? Up here in the upper left corner, it shows system information. It shows you your IP address of the server and something else here that wasn't there before, your Docker containers. So you can see what's running and you can see how much memory and CPU usage those containers are running as well. To sort by different processes, all you have to do is arrow right or left. So if I want to sort by memory usage, again, I can just highlight the memory and there it will tell me again, that MB server is using the most memory on this particular server. Down here in the bottom left, you can see the temperature of your processor and each core there within. The temperatures are doing pretty good if you ask me. Right above that, you can see the hard drives at a glance, eh, glances at a glance. So you can see your total space of the hard drives that you have and what you're using on each disk. That's a great thing to have. One other thing about glances worth mentioning is you can actually access it through a web interface on your network. You'll have to install one other package here, which is pretty simple. You can find it on their GitHub page and you just run it through pip, install it. Then once this is done installing, 
I'll show you here that all we have to do is type in glances w. Once you enter that command, all you have to do is just open the IP of your server and then this port you'll add on the end of that and it will open glances in a web browser. Pretty cool. Glances is a great monitoring tool. However, if you want something that's a little more fun and pretty to look at, let's take a look at our third and final monitoring utility, B Pi Top. So this is BPytop. I think you can see why it's my favorite, but let me tell you, it's more than just the colors and the eye candy. And for me, what separates this from all of the other ones is the fact that all of the resources on this utility are separated into their own boxes, making it easier for me to find things and just look at it at a glance and say, okay, I know my processor is in this box here at the top. I can see how many cores are here, what uh, percentage is being used for each core, the temperature. I can even see the processor name here at the top. You can change a lot of this stuff within the options. And if you move right down here, you can see your memory. A nice little bar graph here. If you want it to be an animated, uh, continuous flowing graph, you can just hit G on your keyboard and it will do that for you as well. Over here on the disk side, you have a nice box that just shows you all of your disks, how much is being used and how much is free for each disk. Again, if I hit S, I can see the swap and hit S again, it takes a swap away. Here on the right side is the process tree. You can see everything here that was seen in glances in HTOP as well. Again, if you just arrow right and left on your keyboard, you can switch between different uh, resources to sort here in the process tree. Finally, down here in the bottom left, you can see your net throughput down here. This is pretty rad. This is probably my favorite part of the whole utility of BPytop is you can see your download and your upload throughput on your network. For example, I'm running this on my Open Media Vault 6 server. Every time I transfer files, I can keep track of my speed. So if something's going wrong with my network card or my SATA card, for example, and my speeds just aren't where they should be or they're really low, I'll definitely know something's wrong. So I can see that right here in this chart down here in the bottom left. It is freaking awesome. I wanna show you guys an example of how this works. I'm going to go ahead and connect to this server again through a different uh, tab here. I'll go ahead and detach this so we can bring it down here and I will run a speed test, but keep your eyes on the download speed down there in that box. So I'll run speed test. And there it goes. You can see the graph taken off too, doing all kinds of uh, activity reporting down below there. And it's really cool to watch that, how that works and it changes. Now it's doing the upload. That is so cool to watch. And you can watch it live right there when you run the test. To get into the options of BPytop is another thing that's really cool about BPytop and why I like it so much is all you have to do is hit escape on your keyboard and then you hit enter in the options menu and you can scroll through 14 different color themes for BPytop. If you want it to be a different color, sure you can do that. Let's go ahead and hit enter and escape on our keyboard, escape one more time. You can choose any theme you want right there in that options menu. So let's go back there again and you can see that we have we can tab through the different sections here we have cpu settings memory settings net settings and our process tree settings here without going through this too much because it'll take up a lot of time what i want to do is tell you really quick about the keyboard commands you can use and it's really simple it's just numbers one through four watch out i switched the theme on you for example if i don't want to show cpu at the top i just hit number one and it will take away the cpu if i don't want the memory shown i just hit number two if I don't want the net throughput, I'll hit number three. And the processor's tree, number four. To bring them all back, just go back in reverse, and there you have it. Or you can just cycle through by pressing M on the keyboard. M is in Michael. So I can just keep hitting it, keep hitting it, and then there it is, back to normal. Now I know what you're thinking, it's not perfect, and it's not perfect because there's one thing that's important to me that is missing, and that is Docker monitoring. There is no way currently to monitor your Docker containers. Now, I did put in an issue request on their GitHub page to see if maybe in a future release, because he is going to be updating it, and I mean he's going to be doing a big update, including renaming it to just BTOP uh, here in August. I think he said late August uh, on their GitHub page, but yes. Hopefully Docker will be added. I can't say for sure. Until then, I'll just have to hop over to Glances if I ever want to check on my Docker containers, but I'm pretty confident that the developer will add Docker support for BPytop here in the near future. This, I'm, I'm just gonna keep my fingers crossed. Also, I will mention really quick, 
as an honorable mention, if all you're looking to do is monitor your Docker containers, speaking of Docker containers, you can check out the utility called CTOP. Pretty simple to install as well. And really all it does is monitor your Docker containers. Check it out. If you guys can recommend any other monitoring tools for the command line interface, be sure to drop those in the comments below. If you have any questions, also be sure to check out the comments and shoot those in there. I'll be sure to get back to you guys as quick as I can. I've got links to all the ones I talked about in today's video in the description below. They have a lot more documentation on their GitHub pages that you can check out. Also, check out the homelab.wiki for more cool guides, and there's also some blogs that I put up there, home lab related blogs that you can check out there as well. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. I'd love to have you back for other videos in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye for now.